This is Twit. Wow, this Huawei thing. It's it's you I almost feel like we're watching an empire crumble. And it's not the first time the US government has done this. They pretty much put ZTE out of business. Same way. Mm. Uh, but I've never seen a case of just these restrictions. Even Microsoft now apparently has pulled the Huawei MateBook from the Microsoft Store. Mm -hmm. Sure, they've not said anything about uh, withdrawing I'm the Windows license. I'm actually confused by how quickly companies have moved to adhere yeah. to the letter of this law. I, I, I find that to be very strange. Yeah, you almost feel like there's some memo went out that we don't know about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there have been rumors. See, if, for a long time I thought, is this political? Is this part of a new and mm -hmm. I think a uh, disturbing trend towards politically based trade wars? It's a new mm -hmm. a new way to we wage war. We don't like China. Right. So let's screw China. Mm -hmm. Or is it really driven by security and intelligence concerns? And if so, what's the evidence? Exactly. Well, I was going to say, I, I, the, like, <laughs> everyone talks about that. There is no, no one's ever come up with any evidence. I, I, nope. You know, I, I get into a lot of uh, – it's funny how people, you know, people who are on my website, on the comment section of Twitter, whatever, you know, uh, have such shallow memories of the past. You know, uh, there, as, aside from uh, our fears of governmental coercion, you know, from China, whatever, that we – again, that we don't literally have any evidence of, you know, the things that Huawei has done – badly or wrong or whatever you want to say it, IP violations or IP theft, whatever, is the exact same things that Microsoft did back in the 90s. It's the exact same things that Samsung did to dominate the smartphone industry. Mm -hmm. They went to court and were found guilty of it. You know, but now they're dominant, right? And so uh, the trajectory for Huawei, at least in the phone business, I can't speak to networking, to me has been very uh, similar, if not identical, to what Samsung did, right? Which was copy everybody at first and then start really innovating. You know, and we're at the point now where their phones are actually a lot better than anything that Samsung has to offer or OnePlus or Google or whoever you want to talk to. And um, all of a sudden we found something that can stop Huawei and it's not Samsung. It's the United States government. And it's yeah. it's it is kind of an interesting thing. I I, um, I don't know. You know, uh, this, uh, th these charges, I mean, I you know, <laughs> like, uh, you know, the, the Chinese government can tell Huawei to spy on. Whoever, right? You know, mm. I, weren't we talking about this with Microsoft and the NSA and all the Windows backdoors that supposedly <laughs> <Yep>. existed? I mean, <laughs> what's this, isn't this the same conversation? Uh, yeah. Isn't the United States government the one that has spied more that, on its allies than every other country combined? <laughs> Haven't we been caught doing this many times? Um, I, it's amazing to me how quickly we're everyone just mm. believes that Huawei is guilty of something. Like they have to be. Mm. You know, I you think know? it's interesting. Microsoft's one of the only tech vendors who's not commenting. Yeah. You know, like Qualcomm has said something and Intel has said something and Google has said something, but Microsoft, we all ask them and they're just like, yeah, we're not commenting on this. I, I, I mean, Microsoft's relationship with Huawei is probably on the small side, right? Compared oh, thanks to Google. Right. right. Yeah, but yeah. if they pull, see, the, so the real issue is if the Google pulling Android, if Microsoft pulled Windows, ARM well, has, no, ARM no, has no, pulled no, the chips... Qualcomm has pulled like, the chips. One always got nothing, has. but they haven't. I know there's no statement that they have, but right. yeah. at this point, that may be all they well, got first left. first of all, as of today, I mean, a lot of that stuff is temporarily on hold, right? Because they have like a 90-day right. suspension of whatever, right? And mm -hmm. a lot of that has to do with the networking end of it because what, you know, of course, what we discover when we move in a knee-jerk fashion is that actually there are repercussions of that. And there are mm -hmm. some smaller network providers in rural America, especially who rely on Huawei equipment because it's so inexpensive and uh, ending this relationship would, would harm them um, badly. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But I actually, I, I do think this is part uh, just a tactic of the trade war, you know, the nuclear option. Um, I mean, but you could, I, I, just, I also don't think it's unreasonable to say whether or not Huawei is owned by the Chinese government or invested in by the Chinese military, none of which we can prove. If you're a Chinese company... Okay. And the government, President Xi, comes to you and says, uh, we want you to turn off all 5G uh, switches in the U.S. Mm -hmm. You can't say no. So I okay. understand the notion. <laughs> but we're, I in guess. A, we're, I mean, we're in an interconnected world. Well, the United world. States government went to Cisco and right. said, we want you to turn off all the 5G no, switches? No, I think Cisco could say no. 
There's a okay. big difference. No, no. I think Cisco I mean, I, can say I, no. I, okay. I mean, I, I okay. I don't I, think you know, I, a Chinese company can say no to, to the Chinese government. Uh, right. they, do, they do so at their peril. <laughs> Nobody uh, can test that that's an authoritarian regime. No, no. But, you know, I, I, you have to look at the reverse of this. Um, you know, all, every device that we use is made in China. Um, mm -hmm. You kind of have to wonder at what nuclear option the Chinese could pull on us right now, you know. Well, exactly. Um, that's why trade war is a terrible thing. Yeah. <laughs> You know, what if uh, China just said, look, we're not going to let you make iPhones in China? Yeah, the prudent thing mm -hmm. would be to work it out. And, yeah. and I, as, I long, as, the, as like, long as China has an economic interest in, in, in the success of the U.S., yeah. they're not going to yeah. act I mean, this, this is a, a problem for both it's, it's stupid for both sides. But, I, I, look, if there was some legitimate security concern with regards to networking and the United States government went to the governments of Europe and elsewhere and said, look, here's the evidence, here's why we think we should ban these things. And there was, that was the discussion. That would Apparently, be that's, that's what happened. They well, did. They, actually, went to the, they went to these. They did, and they didn't have any evidence. <laughs> that's oh. that's, that's yeah. the problem. Yeah, because some countries um, said no. Canada said, yeah, all right, it's going to cost us billions, but okay. Mm. Australia, I can't I mean, a lot of Australia. it is you're, you're playing on the relationship. You know, you can't. What's Canada going to do? We're allies. You know, you know, right, we're allies. They're, gonna, do this. they're gonna just going to toe the line, right? That's always worked great for our allies, by the way. Um, yeah, and the by other the way, we've never, not that that makes any difference, but we're not clean in this matter. We we spied on Angela Merkel's phone. Right. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> right? I mean. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know what the I really don't know what the answer is because uh, mm. you want to secure your networks. You know, the next I, well, step okay, after trade so, war is cyber war. We're definitely approaching that. I uh, we've already engaged in cyber yes. war as well, by the way, yes. uh, for sure. You know, against Iran certainly. Um, but yes, I, I I think there's a saner approach to this. I, I the, the disturbing thing about this to me is that the United States government has unilaterally decided to destroy a company <laughs> that is based in another country. Because that company is based in another country, and it, it's—I um, I don't know. I, look, I, I'm sure that Huawei has done its fair share of uh, a fair share of shady dealings. Of course, all companies have. That's fine. Um, they actually do I have a sure history they, of, of bad behavior. They have. A, they certainly. They have. I would say they have a history of not so much shady but shoddy behavior with regards to fixing problems and networking things and so forth, leaving in debugging things and whatever. And, and people look at, oh, they're spying on us, you know, whatever. But um, I, there are countries in Europe, especially, that have kind of come up with this kind of common sense approach to look, we're, we're going to make sure that whatever we implement is something we can test and make sure the security is right. And it's where we want that they're replying to us when we have problems and responding and getting the right things done and so forth. And, mm. you know, Huawei needs to be able to compete uh, for those contracts, you know, and, and on the merit of their technology. Um, but I, yeah, this is turning into like a geopolitical uh, battle. And it's like, it, it's claimed the United States has somehow as the moral high road here is like the most ludicrous uh, <laughs> thing that I, it's just, it's unbelievable. No, but it, we have the right to protect ourselves. Yeah. From just, threats, threats both real and imaginary. Yeah. It's really, <laughs> no, it's, I mean, that's the it is, that's you know. the problem. And who, is it real or is it imaginary? You can see how it could be real. Yep. I would hope that in a, dem a democracy like the United States of America, that our government could be transparent and tell us what the problem is, not just that we hate them because they're Chinese. And that's all I've heard. It does feel a little xenophobic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little. <laughs> a little. Um, it's you know, it, and look, there's there's a lot that goes into this from the perspective of the United States, like the world's superpower and so forth. There's, you know, this understanding that this, this doesn't no run lasts forever. You know, sorry, Golden State fans or whatever, but um, you know, that's wait a minute. We, we're, what, what can we wait, wait? Slow down, buddy. Don't you be knocking the warriors. Wait a minute, you brought sports into this now. <laughs> All right, sorry, Patriots fans. Whatever, however you want to say. It. Eventually, it's going to come crashing down, and. Um, you know, obviously, the United States, like the British Empire before it, is going to, you know, not. Well, is we don't have to call for the history. end of the United States Empire for, <laughs> to resolve this. No, 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 it's no, over. See, it's, Democracy. It was a no, great no, no, idea. No. Goodbye. No, no, sorry, you misunderstood. <laughs> don't get depressed yeah, but, here, Paul. It's okay. It's going to be all right. No, I'm not. I'm just <laughs> explaining that it, what we see is a threat. It's a vague threat, but it's a big threat. It's the biggest consumer market in the world. Right. Their technology is advancing at it. I mean, these guys were. This country was run on coal like ten years ago. Yeah. This is a, you know this thing they've they've come yeah. up so quickly. It's scary. 
I have know, a soft spot for China. I was a Chinese studies major in college. I always yep. loved the culture, the language, the history. Mm -hmm. um, I've only been to the China cultural once. Cultural appropriations. The <laughs> yeah, but no, it's an amazing country. <laughs> sure. Well, so of our allies, Korea and 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 Japan yeah. are not innocent of cult of appropriation either of intellectual property. Well, neither with the United States is a giant bucket of cultural appropriation. <laughs> That's what we are. That's the melting pot. I but mean, every country has the right to protect itself, and I think that uh, that is our right. Yeah. Um, no, no. I, that's what I mean. It's understandable. Like I get it. Like I sort of get it. I, I, it's just that the way this is going down is is so ham handed and self destructive. It doesn't I don't, feel like a sensible no. straight line policy. It feels like many of the things we've been doing lately. It's very zigzag, inconsistent. Out. Yeah. 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 It also, you know, a lot of the things that this administration does are like really violent and crazy, and it's like, eh, never mind. <laughs> You know, right. they just that's what I think is going to happen. There's a lot I think, of, yeah, I think like mind. in a week, yeah. uh, he'll just change his mind, and then suddenly he'll be like, "Oh, just kidding, yeah. everything's great." Uh, I, I find some other thing I hate over here. I'm going to move on exactly. to this thing. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I it, what bugs me is it's just the the ease at which people slip into. Yeah, they, it's there's something screwy going on the Chinese, you know. It's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. look, their phones have curved screens, just like Sam. They're stealing stuff, you know. They like, oh, of course they're gonna spy. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's it's so, it's so right. knee jack a jerk and and automatic. Like it's it's depressing. And then of course, you know, when I try to, you know, when, on my site, if I write about Huawei and I try to interject the fact that, hey, by the way, this is xenophobic, <laughs> you know, or by the way, they've never presented any evidence to anybody. It's like, oh, you just love the Chinese, you love Huawei. Like, like is what? Why? What? what why would I? Right. I just looking at it logically. I don't understand where this stuff comes from. It's it's sad. It's sad how easily we fall into this trap.